let's take a look at our compassion level, shall we? Go right back to your childhood, as far back as you can remember. How do you remember feeling? What were you treated like? What was your environment? What values were you taught? I was really lucky. I was born into a beautiful kin, beautiful bloodline, loving, supportive, nurturing. They taught me that I mattered. I was loved. I was valued. And this isn't to say that I had felt the opposite at times through external things in my life. That happens, but very blessed. So when we're moving forward, upwards through her life, what do we recognise? What can we acknowledge? Where can we see our compassion levels going up and down? Where can we see we are loving, open, embracing, there for ourselves, there for others? compassionate okay and kind and caring not interfering just you know maybe considered concerned where have we shown love where have we shown support nourishing nurturement yeah where have we shown equality and that love of i accept you for who you are you're perfect it is our imperfections when we can acknowledge all of our areas of healing and for my journey self-discipline maybe about things or it's the self-limiting beliefs the false beliefs it's the judgment we feel by others it's the judgment we give ourselves when we do not give ourselves judgment we do not notice other people's judgment. We don't feel judged because we know we're not judged. That's just a perception. Our perception creates our truth. We change our perception, our mindsets. We observe differently. We try new dynamics. We shift. Our perspective changes and our truth changes. So the question we ask ourselves, especially as we know we're getting more experience and growing forward in life. Where have we dropped our value? What made us uncompassionate? What made us close to love, to ourselves, to others? What made us bitchy or mean or sad or angry? Where do we feel people have pinned us down and constrained with us? Where do we feel people have walked over us or taken the mic or because this is where we have dropped our truth, our value, we have fallen, okay, out of our truth. So the lower we fall, the, the, dense, the denser we become, the frequency decreases. So notice where our values are at. What values do we hold? What values are we learning to raise in and become more in? You see, our core being tells us by feeling where this is and it really is a case of self-love self-acceptance self-forgiveness self-trust our free will our self-beliefs our self-talk about us our self-talk about others what is it is it judgmental or is it loving compassionate accepting but still with boundaries always yeah do not be a victim to anything external. Empower from within. Heal, forgive, love, compassion, okay? And all gets brighter, it really does. I'm very tired today, you can tell. And I've <laughs> not washed my mascara off properly from the shower, but... This message really wants to come through tonight. It's so important that we recognise our levels of compassion and how they've gone up and down through the years. What has caused this? How do we reverse it? How do we become love, open, embracing? Free of fear, free of ego, free of judgement. Equality, you know, equal. We are equals, all of us. We are all from the same, 
We are all the same one, <laughs> all of us. All living kingdoms, okay? Do not let external forces ruin you, ruin us. We have the power to disempower external forces, learned behaviours, learned programming or forced programming, sneaky programming, sneaky genetic mod modifications. We're growing again. Our DNA is going beep, 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 beep. Okay? Our awareness is much more open, much more consciously aware. Our channeling is much stronger. Our manifesting is much stronger. Compassion and love ensures we get what we are in the right ways. By our self love, self value, and everything else I mentioned to do with the self. Like I said, be the best version of you. Be the best vibrational being you can be. Love yourself first, compassion. Notice how you treat other people. Notice how people treat you. We can all change any truth we don't like, okay? We can all get in alignment with our mind, body and soul and our desires of core being from our heart with an open heart, a safe heart because we're secure. And we're in unconditional love. So... Bit of self work here, guys. Um, I recommend every day, some form of it anyway. Like I recommend meditation every day, especially with the chakras, energy centers, clearing, rebalancing, raising up. 528 HC, amazing frequency for DNA repair, for healing, for transformation, for clearing, for bringing in the new, for our health, and for our, our connection. Learning how to be in the oneness that we are and just be. Okay, lots of love. <laughs>